So in our parting shot tonight, after last year's Me Too movement comes a powerful, powerful drama. Hold Me Down is based on the lives of hundreds of young African-American women who turned to prostitution after a lifetime of poverty and abuse in inner city New York. Now, it won Best Short Film at the Harlem International Film Festival last night. Here's Becky Anderson with more on that. Hold Me Down captures a day in the life of a young mother working in an illegal strip club just to make ends meet. But it's not just another film about the sex industry. All of the women in the film are real-life survivors of sexual violence or domestic abuse. I've been through rape, I've been robbed, I've been stabbed before. I've danced before, I've been homeless before, I've starved before. This is the harsh reality that shocked the film's young Swedish director almost 10 years ago. He saw the dark side of the American dream as a 19-year-old student in New York at what he thought was just another house party in Harlem. I witnessed a young woman have sex with a stranger on the floor of a crowded room. When I asked her if she was okay, she told me that she had a two-year-old daughter and that this was what she had to do to survive. The film draws on interviews with hundreds of women in the sex industry who turned to prostitution after a lifetime of trauma. All of them grew up in impoverished inner-city communities, and all of them are black. When you're born in poverty in black America in a ghetto, it's really not that bright of a future. You get money in here. You're gorgeous. Put your head up. I wanted to honestly be a voice, be an inspiration to these women, if you will. According to a prominent civil rights group, the National Coalition on Black Civic Participation, more than half of all women of color experience some form of sexual violence in their life. For Nicholas, the odds were stacked against his cast, something that was obvious even during filming. It was really difficult to deal with the fact that, you know, every three weeks one of the women involved would go through something really terrible, you know, being ev evicted or beaten or, or raped, losing their jobs or being put out on the streets. And whilst I was there as a sort of life vest, uh, my help was really nothing compared to this, you know, this, this stormy ocean of everything that went against them. The film doesn't have a Hollywood-style happy ending, but in real life, at least some cast members are now in higher education, and most of them want to continue acting, changing their lives one step at a time. Becky Anderson, CNN.